So who doesn't dream about escaping to the tropics? Since that's not always an option, how about creating a tropical feel in your own backyard? We called on gardening guru Cisco Morris, who always knows just the right thing to plant. Hey, Cisco, we need that tropical <laughs> feeling. Oh, yeah, boy, I'll tell you. You know, for years, I used to go to nursery. This pot's on my patio in the shade, you know, and we eat dinner out here every night. We have guests come, all that kind of thing. And every year I'd go get a hydrangea or some plant that likes shade, use the same darn things. One day I was walking through a nursery. I saw all these tropical plants. I went, hey, they can live outside in the summertime and you could do something so different. It'll just amaze the liver tweedle out of your guests <laughs> on the <pen. laughs> Love it when we talk about that. Um, but what, what about temperature and location? They will really thrive in that shade? Well, you know, the funny thing is, you know how cold it got a couple of nights ago. I'm so glad I haven't planted this yet. <laughs> but I always, look, I always look at the King 5 weather <laughs> before I plant it. But once the temperatures are in the 50s, almost any tropical plant can survive that no problem you get a 43 degree night they're gonna be shivered a little you might want to cover them up but uh, i doubt that's going to happen again i think it's free sailing for the rest of uh summer so well, that's... don't be afraid mm -hmm. give it a try that's really good news so cisco what kind i noticed you have a, a leafy plant there um what about flowers what what exactly should we be putting in our pot that's going to thrive and not die well uh you know what when i do tropical plants they are so colorful and beautiful i don't really worry about the flowers now they might flower indoors they never are they ever do you know these kind of music here but uh, out here, they may actually even produce a flower or two. That would be a uh, gravy, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little frosting on the cake. But look at this guy. This is a Thai plant, and it's uh, it's called Cordyline Anti Woo. I was walking through the nursery. The minute I saw this, I just went, I got to have this thing, you know. And how do you beat the color of that foliage? And... Uh, you know, it's just a spectacular plant. It's got one little problem. My wife doesn't really like it when I go to the tropical plant section <laughs> of the nursery. Because this little guy right here costs 85 Ooh. bucks. Oh, wait, but it stay, does it stay alive? Like, do you take it well, inside it in the winter or is it? <laughs> well, you could bring this into the house uh, in the fall. If you, first of all, if you can uh, persuade your spouse to have another uh, house plant in a house <laughs> that you are not to take a malaria pill to walk into, you know. <laughs> this made me snort, Cisco. Yep, here, I'll keep planting this while we're talking. The hardest part is getting them out of the, the doggone pot. But, oh, beautiful. Nice this work. This has got four ruts. Now, I don't know, I, I can, usually I go out and look to see which side's the prettiest and everything. All right, I got to dig this deeper. And I also noticed you, that's your thriller, but you got the spillers there too, right? Yeah, right. The centerpiece is the thriller. And, you know, when you think about it, uh, this could go in the back. If this was against the wall or something, I could put that. The thriller in the back, but I like to put them right in the center. Mm -hmm. And Emity, does it look straight? Yeah, it looks <laughs> kind of straight. Yeah, looks oh, good. I can't do that too good, you know. So I mean, with an eighty-five dollar plant, you do want it to look perfect. I hear you, Mrs. Morris. It's kind of look perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, and then I like to add, you know, I like to add a few plants. This is stromanthi. And uh, it's tree. It's called uh, uh, Trio Star, I think. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful. This is so hard to grow in the house. You can't believe it. I've murdered so many of these, but because they don't get enough humidity in the mm. house, out here they're happy as little clams. So let's see. I think I'll put this one in the front. You know. So oh, uh, I love it. It's a happy little plant, Cisco. It is. Oh, uh, it's so, and this will, when people come over, 
and they're used to just seeing impatience or whatever mm -hmm. in there. And then they see this, they're going to be like, they're going to feel like they just walked into a tropical setting, you know? <laughs> I love it. And I, you know, even if it's short lived just through the summer, it's such a beautiful treat for your backyard. So how do we keep it alive through the summer at least? That, that's a really great question. So you want to water, but you don't want to overwater it. So I usually stick my finger in, and if it feels, I usually stick it into the second joint. Okay. And if I feel lots of moisture there, I don't water. But if it feels dry, it's time to water. Because house plants don't want tons of water. They want enough, but not too much. And then I'm going to fertilize this. Okay. You know, normally when I plant something like this, I would have added organic uh, all-purpose fertilizer 555 in this to give it a really good start. But I did that in one of my other planters and my dog started eating the dirt to get that <laughs> fertilizer. So this is a good organic fertilizer that I can mix up. It's soluble. And I'm hoping my dog is not attracted to this. Oh, no. Well, Look. we loved it when your dog made a cameo appearance last time. So um, <laughs> maybe this time uh, it's good to use the other fertilizer. Yeah, really proud of that. She shows off every time she walks by other dogs. She tells them all about it. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Cisco. Thank you so much for the planting tips and, of course, always the laughs. Oh, well, it's so nice to see you. And, uh, everybody get out there and garden. Spring is here for sure now. Yes. Oh, my goodness. He is such a treasure. Well, if you want to create a tropical paradise in your backyard, we've got the list of plants that Cisco used. Just go to our website, then head to your favorite garden store and enjoy a bit of paradise. <laughs>